Hey there, so how's it going? If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you find something helpful. All my videos are categorized into playlists. So if you want to check out my playlists, um, hopefully you find something useful there. And really, I'm mostly just trying to share my experience, what I've been up to, the different aspects of what I do. So that's the idea of my channel. Now, at this time of year, I think a lot of people are kind of assessing what they did over the last year and thinking about things they're going to change and do differently in the year to come. So that's something I've been doing with my business and I usually do this around this time of year because as a window cleaner you've always got kind of a certain turnover of work I would say. It's always changing, fluctuating in a way. You know you have um, pockets of work that you grow and there's nice groupings of houses all together maybe in the same street or the same area or the same village that's really good when that happens but also you know when you get calls coming in you might pick up um, an odd job kind of that's nearby the bulk of your work but it's just off on its own a little bit for a time you think oh, okay i'll go make the effort to go to that job and um, maybe i'll pick up a few more in that area when i'm going there regularly and sometimes that works out really well and other times it doesn't so I think at this time of year I just assess some of those things and think well something I was I was trying there wasn't working so well so I'll maybe drop some of the odd ones there and I'll concentrate on something else I'm doing there and you know across the course of a year there'll be people moving moving out of their houses cancelling you for whatever reason you'll be picking up new jobs as well something I always do is look over my regulars my regular customers and I still work from sheets kind of spreadsheets like this so the way I organize these sheets sometimes needs just shuffling around a little bit but the other thing I always look at at this time of year is also pricing and putting my prices up I did a video on this already I mean people mostly expect it at this time of year in January they expect prices of a lot of things to go up but I think this year especially I've been thinking carefully about it because the transition from traditional to water fed pole again and I feel that now a lot of people are getting probably a better quality service I feel the windows getting more thoroughly cleaned and as window cleaners we often talk about the negative comments that you can get from Waterfed Pole and I have had a few of those but I have also had good comments as well. I've had people saying who really appreciate the benefits of Waterfed Pole and have seen that. So I feel that now the transitional time has kind of settled down a little bit. I want to really push that a bit more and put the prices up because I feel people are getting a better quality service. And then on the other hand, jobs that I am still doing the traditional way will now pay more because of that. And then I even had a customer the other day who made the comment to me that now I've got all this flash equipment, I should put the prices up in order to pay for it. So you can't argue with that, can you? If you've got a good regular routine of put putting the prices up every year anyway, I think your customers come to recognize that and they come to expect it as well. So it shouldn't really be a shock for the customer, but that's really important uh, to make sure that that's part of the yearly routine really. So yeah, price increases, uh, in the new year. I've also been looking back over the course of the year. I had a really mad summer. I made the change from being mostly a traditional window cleaner to the water fed pole system I'm using, the van mounted system. So that was a big change and a big effort kind of switching over my customers, explaining that, getting to know new equipment finding out what works well for me, but also having to explain everything to my customers, getting to new routines of work. Yeah, different things like that. It was, um, it was a big change actually, more than I kind of anticipated. But the benefits have been fantastic. I mean, inevitably I've lost one or two customers here and there that just weren't happy with it one for one reason or another. Sometimes you can explain to someone until you're blue in the face, but if they're not up for it, then they don't want it. And, and so that's that. So, you know, you lose one or two, but some of the work I've picked up in the last six months, I've done some really big commercial jobs. I've done nursing homes. Some of the work I've picked up as a result of switching to Waterfed Pole definitely far outweighs and any any jobs that I've lost. So overall, it's been really fantastic and I've been really pleased with, with the way that's developed. So that's been great. I've had a crazy year this year. I really have the way some of my additional services have really been doing well. All summer, I've just been rushed off my feet. So 
some of the things that have gone really well with my additional services i've been doing a lot of roof cleaning it's been really good this year i've still got kind of pressure washing going on in the background and obviously fascia cleaning and and conservatory roofs things like that which i also do in with the window cleaning so a lot of my regular work i've really been struggling to get round it as regularly as i used to you know my regulars my monthly work ever since the spring really i've been thinking i'm going to catch up i'm going to catch up even through to the autumn i'm thinking so at some point you know around this time of year things usually slow down but it just hasn't slowed down at all so the way my work's been developing i've been thinking am i getting to the point where i'm going to send someone else off on their own to do some of my work so that was the way i was thinking originally i was hoping to develop that and get someone else going off and doing some work it's difficult finding good people these days and craig who was working with me quite a bit he's got a lot of his own thing going on so i've been using him a bit less so things were getting a bit stressful and i was kind of wondering what direction to take things in so what i ended up doing around september october time is i actually advertised to sell a portion of my window cleaning round i felt like i had to take some decisive action because if a big job comes in like a big roof cleaning job a big pressure washing job a big commercial water fed pole job i'm setting those as a priority because you've always got your regular window cleaning round going on in the background but then when a big job comes in you kind of drop everything and you, and you take on that job oh that's the way i've been doing things anyway because they're my big scores i think any business any well-rounded business you have your bread and butter and then you have your big scores that come in kind of thing the big jobs that come in so so the way i was doing things was a, a big job comes in i fit that in and then i come back to my regular round and i fit those in around some of the other things i'm doing the problem was i'm getting so many big jobs coming in that my regular rounds getting neglected and for years i've been doing a lot of this work bang on every month month after month and my customers know i'm regular and reliable but then just this last year a lot of my regular monthly work it's getting to a month and a half or even nearly two months before i'm getting around it so i had to make that decision really that i'm going to sell part of my round reduce my regular window cleaning round in order to be able to carry on doing some of these other things so that process for me started way back i suppose in september october i think really i decided to advertise some of my work and that was a tough decision really because i ended up selling some work that i'd been doing for maybe 15 years some of it good reliable regular customers and they know i'm regular and reliable and the work was fairly local to me as well but i felt like i just had to do something and i'm enjoying the variety of what i'm doing so yeah that's what i did and that worked out that worked out well obviously i've got my youtube channels really grown in the last year and that's been something that's taken up more and more of my time as well so i've got loads more things i'm looking to do in in the year to come i've got loads more exciting things happening on my channel and something in particular i wanted to do was try and feature some things i've been doing with other window cleaners kind of tips and experiences from other window cleaners and any kind of inspiring stories that i hear from other window cleaners i've got a few things in mind that i want to share so that's something i want to do in the coming months so yeah i hope you enjoy the channel i hope you also are looking forward to the year ahead and looking forward to things to come loads more to come on my channel loads more hints and tips loads more product reviews coming up yeah i'm really excited about things it's really going to be really good so so uh thanks for watching if you go straight to my channel again straight to the playlists all the videos are organized there more business tips and advice are all on the my business approach playlist so take a look at the playlists and i always put loads of links in the description if i can to more information about whatever it is i'm talking about links to other videos and i'll see you again hope to see you again very soon